Well, okay, so the first thing I tell all my students and postdocs and so on is uh, you want to think about writing a paper in terms of telling a story. Okay, so you have to have a vision as to what that story is because that's the way that you're going to make the writing process the most efficient. So it's, it's before you ever write anything down, it's mostly just at the, the level of let's talk about what this paper might be and it always ends up being what's the story you want to tell. I uh, am often see papers that are submitted and of course as the editor I'm looking at the papers and I'm saying okay what's their story uh, and unfortunately sometimes I get papers that where there's no story okay it's just simply it, you know here's some results that we generated and you know, just take it or leave it and it's like okay this is uh, no story okay <laughs> so that's a problem. I think it's important that people read a lot of the literature and find papers that really inspired them. And you, if you watch some of the masters of chemistry tell their stories in the literature, I think that's really the best way to learn, you know, to read, think about how they did it, and then think about how you could potentially map your story onto theirs. When you meander and start trying to write a paper and then figure out, you know, the significance of it as, as you go along, I think it often leads to a, a you know, a very difficult to, to tell story and, and a poorly told story. Um, so I'm a big proponent of, you know, before we do anything, let's ask what it is that we can conclude, what we've taught the world. Sometimes uh, a story and the important results can get uh, buried in a paper. And so I think it's really critical to think about what your most compelling results are, what your key advances are, and to be absolutely certain that you build the introduction and build the story of your paper around conveying those results. If those get lost in, in mounds and mounds of data and data interpretation, uh, you're going to have uh, a much less likely chance of, of garnering uh, excitement from the reviewers uh, for your paper. So I spend a lot of time just trying to think about what, how to tell the story. Um, and, and sometimes, especially with very complicated research where there's a lot of stuff in the details, that can be quite difficult to get the story across. You know, my students come to me with a first draft, and, and if it's a paper, and um, the first question I ask them is, what is the story, right? What is it you want me to get? So once I get that, for me, then I can understand how the paper put, gets put together, but until I get that, it's, I think it's, it can be kind of difficult. Thank you.